the biting New York wind whipped down the bustling city streets, carrying with it a gnawing emptiness that gnawed at the insides of an old man named Arthur. Hunger had become his constant companion, a dull ache that had morphed into a sharp, insistent pain. Days had bled into weeks, each one a struggle for survival. The meager savings he'd once possessed were long gone, devoured by an illness that had robbed him of his job and his strength. Desperate and weak, Arthur wandered the streets, casting pleading glances into the brightly lit windows of cafes and bakeries. The aroma of fresh bread was a relentless torment, a cruel reminder of his empty belly. Shane nodded him as he approached a young couple leaving a bakery. A paper bag clutched in their gloved hands. Hesitantly, he mumbled a plea, his voice raspy and weak. The young woman flinched, clutching the bag tighter. And they hurried past, their laughter echoing hollowly in the cold air. Several more rejections followed each one chipping away at Arthur's dwindling hope. Finally, driven by the pangs in his stomach and the sheer weight of despair, he made a decision that twisted his gut with guilt. He slipped into a small bakery, the warmth engulfing him like a fleeting dream. With trembling hands, he grabbed a loaf of bread, the feel of it a small victory against his despair. But his escape was short-lived. A calloused hand clamped down on his shoulder, and Arthur found himself facing a burly security guard. News of the theft spread like wildfire and soon Arthur found himself standing before a stern judge. His head bowed in shame as he confessed his desperation. His voice choked with tears, the courtroom fell silent. The judge, a man with eyes that held the weight of countless stories, listened intently. When Arthur finished his tale, a flicker of understanding crossed his face. A loaf of bread, he murmured, stroking his chin. A small thing to steal, yet a necessity for survival. The judge then delivered his verdict, a fine of ten dollars. Arthur's heart sank. He had barely enough for a day's meal, let alone such a hefty fine. The judge then surprised everyone. He reached into his pocket, retrieved a $10 bill, and placed it on the bench. With a firm tone, he addressed the court treasury official. Deposit this fine into the city coffers. Arthur's eyes widened, a flicker of hope rekindled. Perhaps this wasn't to be another dead end of judgment. Backslash. The judge rose, his voice echoing in the hushed courtroom. But the case isn't over yet. He scanned the room his gaze settling on the stunned faces of the city residents who had witnessed Arthur's plight. This man, he declared, pointing to Arthur, was driven to steal because he found not a single helping hand in this very city. A ripple of unease passed through the room. 
The judge continued, his voice low but firm. Today, we stand judged as a community. Every one of you who witnessed his struggle and turned away is complicit in this crime. There were murmurs, indignant whispers, faces flushed with discomfort. But the judge ignored them. He addressed the court official once more. Collect a $10 fine from every person present. The official, visibly surprised, started his rounds. Some grumbled, some looked sheepish. But none dared to defy the judge's order. As the official finished collecting the money, a small pile of bills lay on the judge's bench, $480 in total. The judge then turned back to Arthur. This money, he declared, holding up the bills, is yours. Arthur's jaw dropped in disbelief. Tears welled up in his eyes, a mix of gratitude and shock washing over him. The judge's sentence was more than a fine, it was a harsh lesson for the entire city. News of the judge's verdict spread like wildfire, sparking discussions and soul-searching among the citizens. The judge's simple yet powerful act had shaken them from their complacency. Arthur, though still marked by hardship, left the courtroom with not just sustenance but a renewed sense of humanity. A reminder that sometimes, justice requires going beyond the law. The cold sting of hunger remained a distant memory. Replaced by a burning ember of hope, a testament to the kindness that could still be found in the heart of a seemingly cold city.